must understand why God blesses. Write this down, please. Three reasons why God blesses us in the kingdom. Number one, God blesses us to enable us live a comfortable life. God blesses us in the kingdom to enable us live a comfortable life. It is the will of God that we be comfortable as we serve him. That's why sacrifice is an exceptional thing. Because you were not designed that way. Are we together? Many of us are so used to suffering, it is not in the scope of our experience that God wants to make life comfortable. It is the will of God for us to be comfortable whilst we serve him. Number two, and this is the major reason why God blesses us in the kingdom. For the purpose of financing God's agenda. Please write it down. Kingdom advance. Financing God's agenda is one of the major reasons why God blesses us. The reason why he gave them the gold of Egypt was so that they could build a tabernacle in the wilderness. When it was time for the tabernacle, God made a clarion call. All of you bring the gold. That gold that you brought from Egypt was for the purpose of building the temple kingdom financing did you know let me tell you something believers and i say this with all love and honor to the body of christ did you know it's a shame to have to coerce believers to bring financial resources for kingdom advance it's a shame it should be part of your spiritual growth process the way you learn to fast the way you learn to pray the way you learn to study the word right in islam i come from the north in islam a little child is indoctrinated into growing up to understand that kingdom advance is a necessary responsibility that your afterlife even depends on so you will see a hardened smoker somewhere but he knows that something from him should go to the kingdom right now you have to coerce and sometimes people are pressured to even have to tell lies no believers we must be mature to understand that the purpose of rights kingdom rights is for responsibilities you know your rights but you must know your responsibility are we together now and then number three the third reason why god blesses us in the kingdom is to give us an opportunity to reveal the love of god to a dying world god gives us an opportunity through the instrumentation of wealth and prosperity to reveal the love of god to a depraved and a dying world think of how many people's school fees you can pay with the blessing of the lord upon your life think of how many people you can house think of how many lives you can change it's amazing to know that in this country there are people that sleep without eating are we together now while there's excess in your kitchen there's someone hoping and praying that you would find something anywhere we are the light of the world, the Bible says. Not just the light of the church. We are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden. When you get to a particular level of influence as an individual and as a church, the community must begin to partake of the grace of Christ revealed. And that without prejudices, that without any kind of religious consideration. All and sundry, everybody that lives within your environment must be able to see a reflection of Christ through you. And the greatest way to do that is to come in with resources, with love from Jesus. I'm a Muslim, yes, with love from Jesus. I'm a drug addict, yes, with love from Jesus. Where is he? In heaven. But he sent an ambassador and we're empowered to reveal his love. Is God speaking to us? This is the reason why God blesses us in the kingdom. If you know why and you are ready to subscribe to the why, then you are ready to experience God's dimension of wealth and abundance. Pastor, there are many people who have tasted of the blessings of God, but they have disappointed the kingdom because they believe that all there is to money is just buying cars and houses and living a luxurious life. That is important. But then they have ignored the kingdom. Are we together? They have ignored the kingdom.